no frills but hopefully it works uh, again for those of you who watched my other video this was an open box board because that's all that Fry's had left was two of these boards because I got there a day late on the CPU combo deal and this is a very popular deal because it was 39 bucks for the CPU and motherboard after rebate so I was left with the choice of either don't get the combo or take my risk uh, with a open box board and hopefully it works if it doesn't work hopefully I can take it back and exchange it when they get some new stock in so but you guys cross your fingers and we'll hope it works uh, the other components of the home theater PC there is the old home theater PC case which I'm gonna take everything out of because it's beige it's a good Antec case but it doesn't really match with the whole home theater uh, vibe that we have in here which is mostly silver colored so I'm going to use the old Knox box case which some of you might recognize this is an Antec solo uh, very it's three years old and beat to hell or well, at least on the inside on the outside it still looks pretty good uh, but it'll be perfect for that home theater PC so let's tear into the case and and get some components out here is the inside of our Antec solo uh, case again this is a three-year-old case this is what I used to use for my main rig before I got my wonderful uh, thermal take uh, element G so again you can see where it's kind of beat up uh, this big gap here because I had to cut so that my uh, extra long video cards like the GeForce GTX 280 and the 8800 GTX before that would fit because this drive cage got in the way um, you can see it's missing some of the plastic cover pieces but all that's inside stuff it won't matter it still looks great on the outside and we of course we have a full complement of fans we have a nice big 120 millimeter Antec fan back here it might be a Yay Loon I can't remember nope it's an Antec and then inside here you can't see but there are two 100 millimeter not 92 millimeter but 100 millimeter uh, case fans this case actually uh, has space for two 92 millimeter fans and that's what you're supposed to use but I actually found a company that makes 100 millimeter fans that fit in a 92 millimeter slot so there'll be plenty of airflow uh, for definitely for home theater PC usage and here you can see the remnants what's left of our old home theater PC that would be the remaining pieces would be an ECS yes ECS 671T-M motherboard and a an Intel Celeron D430 which is a 1.8 gigahertz single core uh, chip it's basically a core 2 duo with only 512k of cache and one of the cores disabled so it's a single core chip with that being said at 1.6 gigahertz I was able to easily overclock that chip to over 3 gigahertz and it's been running along happily with the stock Intel cooler ever since then and that was two years ago or a year and a half ago so it's definitely been a great little chip uh, just time to move on to something a little better so the rest of our components well memory wise we have a set of OCZ Fatality uh, DDR2 800 megahertz chips uh, these actually might be 1066 I'm not positive on that I think it's 800 megahertz though this is two 2 gig sticks for 4 gigabytes total uh, video card wise we have a fairly new actually bought this about three months ago four months ago GeForce uh, 9600 GSO so 512 megabyte PCIe 2.0 card uh, this is branded EVGA has their own cooler and uh, quite a big fan on here it's a very quiet card and I've already got it overclocked uh, via the BIOS I think like 100 megahertz over stock on both the core and memory and it runs just great and runs very cool great little card uh, we have a plain Jane Seagate 
serial ATA 1.5 megabits a second hard drive, 120 gigabytes. Uh, it's definitely a few years old, but it still works fine and works great for a home theater PC. We don't really need a super fast hard drive, especially when 90% of the content is going to be streamed from our uh, network server, which is sitting in that cabinet right there. Uh, sound card wise, we have a Sound Blaster Audigy SE. Uh, a little bit of a step up from the onboard sound. This was a great card. Uh, of course, it's been surpassed by the Audigy 2 and, and the X5 a long time ago. But nowadays, well, we've got a whole video on sound cards we need to do, but haven't got around to it yet. So what's left? We have a Plain Jane, very old. It's probably approaching five years old now. Light on, 16 times DVD rewriter. Uh, I bought this brand new five or six years ago, and uh, was a cheap drive back then. But it was the drive to get. Uh, did great burns. Uh, this drive has probably seen several thousand burns, and it still works great. And although it's not used, we hardly ever use it anymore. It's nice to have the option there to read DVDs or even write them from the home theater PC. So I leave it in there. Again, this is not, since this is five years old, this is not serial ATA. This is a parallel ATA drive. Uh, ATA 66, I believe. And all of this goodness is powered by, da 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 da, looky here. Another, this is my second Antec Basic BASIQ. 350 watt power supply. Again, this is a, I believe this is either made by Seasonic, uh, for Antec, or it might be Fortron Source or Sparkle, you know, uh, that company. I can't remember, but they are great power supplies for 30 bucks. Uh, if you need a power supply for grandma's PC, for a low end PC such as your home theater PC, something that you don't have a beefy video card in. One of those video cards that requires uh, a couple of PCIe connectors, power connectors, then this is the power supply for you. I guarantee you the computer, the motherboard, and other components will probably quit before the power supply ever does. Great, great, rock solid unit. Complete with an Antec stamp. How's that? For 30 bucks. So, let's put this thing together. Again, this is going in that case. Now again, since I bought this motherboard as an open box item, before I even put it in the case, I'm going to slap it, uh, the old Celeron CPU on it and uh, a stick of memory in it, or both sticks of memory, and I hook a power supply up to it since it has onboard video. Don't need to hook anything else up to it. And I'm going to see if it will even post because you know, since it was an open box board, I want to make sure. And if it doesn't post, then this uh, whole video has been a dismal failure. Well, at least until I get a replacement. Cross your fingers for me, folks. So let's go ahead and drop our old, this, again, this is our old Celeron single core from the home theater PC, from the original home theater PC. Uh, drop that down. And then we'll pop a heat sink on there and see if it posts. Now we have our heat sink on there. This is the heat sink from the uh, the original single core chip. So I still have not even opened the box to the new chip. So let's see if this thing posts. 